Taylor Sorello, she is here with us right now. You just mentioned that Helene is a category three. Uh, it's going to gain more strength. It is strengthening now with that latest advisory in from the National Hurricane Center. It is verging on category four strength. So at this point, a very, very strong category three hurricane, and you can tell a very well defined eye there uh, looking very healthy on uh, the presentation there, but it's going to be making landfall here through the evening hours. So we'll just have to wait and see if it has enough time to strengthen to category four. Right now, the forecast is calling for a strong category three at landfall. Regardless, this is a very powerful system. It's going to be making landfall to the east of Apalachicola in the Big Bend of Florida. That center of circulation crossing very close to Tallahassee. Wanted to show you the different watches and warnings that we have going on. The red that you see here, that's a hurricane warning that extends as far north as Macon, Georgia. All of Georgia and a tropical storm warning, same for the Carolinas. And that tells you where the biggest impacts from the system are going to be. Where you see all of the blues and reds, that's where the strongest winds, heaviest rains will be. It is worth noting there are a few counties in Alabama included in a tropical storm warning. Uh, for example, Cherokee County, Cleburne, Randolph, Chambers County, Lee County, Russell County, right along the border. The closer you live to the border of Georgia, the more likely you are to feel impacts from the system. And we're going to bring in Chief Meteorologist Jason Simpson to talk more about those impacts. Well, around here, this really starts getting cranked up overnight into tomorrow morning. So the rain and the wind moving in the heaviest rain. It's going to be east of Birmingham and likely east of Coleman and Aniana and Clanton too. occasional wind gusts are going to top 20 to 40 miles per hour through tomorrow afternoon and evening. So there's Helene on the satellite imagery. Big time rain bands hitting the west coast of Florida. This thing's going to come inland close to St. Mark's later on tonight. Here's the radar from Tallahassee. You can see that big eye wall there. Tornado warnings in effect for parts of Florida where those uh, rain bands are coming in, causing those circulations. So here's how it moves. This is one forecast model. It might be just a little too far to the east. Uh, this one's suggesting it's maybe a touch east of St. Mark's, but it's going to be pretty close here. Wind gusts well over 100 miles per hour there. Weather still pretty quiet here at 10 p.m. Then as the storm moves north, look at this. Dublin, Georgia could be gusting higher than 70 or 80 miles per hour by 2 o'clock in the morning. In East Alabama, maybe noisy outside. A lot of leaves blowing around with 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts, but it's really not that bad for us. Some of the stronger winds may actually end up happening during the day on Friday as the system pulls to the north. How much rain are we talking? Well, still we're thinking that narrow band over East Alabama where there could be three to five inches of rain. Then it drops off really sharply over West Alabama. This is likely close to Highway 431 through the eastern part of the state. Again, the rain gets heavier overnight through the first part of tomorrow morning. Then it's going to be blustery and wet throughout the day on Friday. We'll talk more about that and get you set for the weekend too in the seven day forecast.